everybody. Thank you so much for joining. I'm Carrie with Park Seeds app from Seed to Spoon. And I am so excited right now to be at the Smart Pots facility because it is coming to be winter time. So I'm not able to grow as much at our house. So I'm really excited to have a short drive up here to the Smart Pots amazingly nice greenhouse. And I'm joined by Edvin today. Hey everybody, Smart Pot Edvin here. Yeah, we're so excited to have Dale and Carrie here. Um, we have this amazing 800 square foot greenhouse um, here in the middle basically of Oklahoma City. It's our little sanctuary on Smart Pot's uh, seven acre campus. And yeah, we're so excited to do so many projects. We're gonna show you guys how to easily grow indoors, outdoors, balcony, even if you have a small space or a large space. We're so excited. Yeah, a little bit of everything we're gonna do. So it, it'll be really fun. And make sure to stay tuned to the end because we are going to be doing an amazing giveaway complete, well, for three different people, complete with a five gallon smart pot, some so effortless seeds from Park Seed, and also, yeah, there you go, model it up. <laughs> also these farmer's defense sleeves too. So stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna start off by kind of decorating our set a little bit. So we have a, little shorty right here which is one of the longer raised beds and we are going to plant it out by doing the simplest thing possible by taking these park seed so effortless mats that are already planted out with all of the seeds you simply just unroll it put it into the smart pot and, and water it in like it is that simple so let's get started. Awesome, yeah, I'm so excited, Carrie. Well, I'm gonna start here by unboxing our little shorty, just part of Smart Pot's Urban Collection. This is a really, really great size. Three foot long by 18 inches wide, four feet of, four cubic feet of growing space, which is perfect. I mean, you have a small space, balcony, um, patio. Yeah, these are great for our patio and yeah. our sunroom. We have a nice sunroom then. Yep, yep. These are perfect size for. Well, let's bring it in front. I was thinking if we brought it up front here and we planted out some of these flowers, it would be so pretty. Oh, I think that looks great. Yeah. Here, we're gonna go ahead and bring some of over of our natural organic garden soil by our friends over at Black Gold and SunGrow. Um, they want to give a really, really good shout out to our friends at SunGrow. Um, they were really nice to actually send us four pallets worth of soil. SunGrow is actually available nationwide. Um, so if you're a gardener, any one of your local garden centers will actually carry their stuff. So um, if you are looking for some good quality soil, um, check them out. I'll hold it open for you if you want to awesome, pour that you. in there. Yep. So this bag of uh, black gold here is one cubic feet carry. And our little shorty will hold exactly right around four cubic feet. Well, that'll um, work out perfect then. Yeah. <laughs> Spread this out a little bit. And I don't know about you, but I'm starting to really like how this soil looks. I know, it does. It looks really good. Usually I feel like bagged soil does not like look this good. Yeah. I have to like add compost and things like that. Yep, and another thing that I like is there's nothing flying out of here, you know? <laughs> yeah. None of our winged friends have uh, hatched in this bag. Yeah, that's really nice. I like how there's separate containers here, separate areas here too, because then I can grow different things if I want to also. Yes, yes. And also a nice thing about SunGrow stuff is they are OMRI certified, which means if after we plant our flowers, if we decide to go with some tomatoes, peppers, or anything edible, um, this soil will be perfectly safe for us to eat. <laughs> I don't know about eating soil. Maybe you do, but... Uh... Yeah, maybe. No, well, you're, you're right. I guess what we harvest from the soil will be perfectly edible. Gotcha. <laughs> well, how's that looking to you, Carrie? That looks great. Awesome, I'm excited. Awesome, ready for the next step? Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna pull out this Park Seed So Effortless mat. These are amazing. If you haven't ever seen these, you definitely need to check them out. They are just already seeded out. They have a bunch of different ones. This one is the Sunflower Fantasy Mix. Wow. It's, it'll be great. And then um, there's all sorts of different ones like Pollinator Mix, Wildflower, all of that. Um, but these ones are awesome. And we can just simply unroll it like this, plant it out in here, and we'll just cover it lightly with soil when we're done and water it in. That's as easy as it is. Here, you wanna cut it at the very end over there for me? Wow, so really just that easy, we really just planted a full bed worth of uh, sunflowers? Yeah, can you believe that? Wow. That's amazing. 
Awesome. Well, there you go. I got our excess off. We nice. can go ahead and probably save this for I another know, because these are really long, too. We can plant out several beds with that. Great. And then we'll just put a little bit of soil on top of this. Just cover it lightly and then water it in. Awesome. Let me get some more of that sun grow. Oh, I think we have some right behind you right there. there you go. So you said we just want to sprinkle a little bit right on top. Yeah, really just to just to cover this this lightly, because you don't want to bury them, bury it too much. How's that? Should we do a little bit more? Might need a little bit more over here. There you go. Wow. And then if you want to hand me a, maybe another little handful to cover all of the white spots and then we'll be good. And then I'll tuck in the sides too. Okay, then I have the watering can right here. We can water it in. And we just planted out an entire bed. And hopefully like we'll that. have some beautiful flowers soon. You know, what's so amazing about this, Carrie, is honestly like the form factor of it. I mean, you pretty much need the smallest area. I mean, like exactly what it is, four feet squared, and you're able to have a full garden planted up. Yeah, this is amazing. It's going to be so pretty, too. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. So now that we have our flower bed in front planted out, we were thinking about doing an herb garden and we were going to do that in one of these five gallon smart pots. I love these because they're just as easy as just unfolding and filling with soil and then pop in some seeds. It is great. Yeah, not to mention the aeration you get in this. I mean, you can keep plants in here longer than you most would in any any plastic container. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I've definitely noticed a huge difference. Yeah, My no plants always roots. do really well. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so should we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. So Carrie, actually what we have here is actually another one from our friends over at SunGrow. Uh, this is actually nice. one of their newest stuff. This is actually their black bear. It's actually made with biochar as opposed to any other organic matter. So it's actually super healthy and it's actually super sustainable. So if you haven't heard of uh, biochar, you probably will hear soon. <laughs> nice. All right. It's another healthy up. one to eat, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't know if you want to be eating this one straight out of the bag. Wow. So if you look in here, Carrie, you can actually see all those little black pieces of biochar. Yeah, I see, yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, let's get started. Let's in. Wow, this stuff's really, really nice and really light. Yeah, it's perfect. And what I love about these smart pots too, like I can just lift and carry these anywhere and a lot of them too especially as they get bigger like they have the handles on the sides i love the handles yep because yep. then like especially with the tomatoes and peppers this time of year i'm like i can get like a couple extra weeks if i just bring them inside for like a, one night or something so they're super handy yep and we're actually super lucky that we have this nice greenhouse um so we would keep them indoors but if you're in an area where it's turning a little bit chilly um keep them out there until you have that like sign of first frost once you have that sign just like Carrie said, pick them up, bring them inside. Um, you have a south facing window or sometimes, um, I think you guys actually have a nice setup in your garage now we with do, some grow yeah, lights. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Just some shop lights too, like works really good. Yep, exactly. And maybe add a little fan and you can actually keep growing throughout the whole year. Um, especially in a smart pot, you're not gonna have to worry about any circling roots or up potting um, during, the, during the winter. Um, so they're gonna do great. <laughs> Well, I'm excited. We have some more of these so effortless seeds from from uh, Park Seed, and these ones instead of the mats, these ones are seed discs. I love these because again, here I'll show you. These things are awesome. Oh, can I see one of those? Yeah. So check that out. Whoa. So there's a bunch of seeds right there already planted out. So if you have a small pot, you can just place that into there too. It's perfect. And I, I thought with these today, I have four different ones. All of these herbs, I have basil, thyme, cilantro, and parsley. And I thought we could plant one of each in here. Yeah, I thought make that like would a, make a... A little salad bowl? Yeah. Wow, that's yeah, pretty, pretty I like cool. It. 
So yeah, again, with that is so simple. All you do is just lay these in here. Huh. So, so have, I have, looks like I have organic basil. So you're saying just place it in here? Mm-hmm, yep, yep, wow. that's all you do. Here, I'm gonna take one of them because I want one of each. Oh, I'm okay, excited okay. To, to plant one of each here. And then we have a thyme right here. Got to plant that out. And, and again, so like so simple. So one thing I'm noticing, Carrie, mm -hmm. is that the seeds are actually kind of spaced out. Um, do you guys purposely pace them out kind of yes. based on how much room that they need? Yeah, exactly. They're already pre-spaced out for you. You don't have to thin down or anything like that, especially with the smaller seeds. That can be difficult because, you know, dropping more than one in accidentally is definitely a thing. <laughs> so it truly makes it so effortless, huh? it, it really does. Awesome. It is very, very appropriately named. Okay, and then last but not least, parsley. So again, we just lay those out. Like that's gonna be perfect. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is just cover it with a little bit of soil. Awesome. And again, that's it. So, so easy. Here we go, how's that? Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, we don't wanna cover it with too much, especially with uh, some of these smaller seeds. No, that sounds perfect. really just similar to the one we do with the sunflower. Yeah, yeah, and that's all there is, yeah. And then we'll, again, just sprinkle a little bit of water on it. We'll be good to go. <laughs> Here in a couple months, hopefully we will have some really good herbs to be using in our kitchen. Awesome. Okay, so now we have that planted out. We'll move it back here and then we have some more things we're gonna plant today too. Nice. So we have these other So Effortless discs. These ones are a little larger. So these ones, we're gonna do one disc in each Smart Pot. So we have two different flowers. Ooh. Of course, we had to do pretty flowers too. We have a Xenia Thumbelina. So that's gonna be like one of the little smaller ones. It's, they're amazing. I love Xenias. I love Xenias. And then Cosmos, another dwarf one as well. And then also a salad mix, which is great too. So we're gonna be able to have lots of edibles nice. here too. We're gonna have some salads, some herbs, and some pretty flowers to go with it. And with these zinnias and cosmos, so don't get me wrong. So we're gonna have herbs, flowers, sunflowers going. We're pretty much gonna have a whole pollinator attracting garden. Is that true? For sure, yes, yes. A lot of people don't know that the herbs really do attract pollinators too. Well, Almost just as much as flowers sometimes, I feel like. Now you know. Yeah. Okay, well, let's do this. Which one do you want to start with? Let's start. I feel like green matches really well for salad, so. That makes, a little, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> we'll go with, we're going again with our Sun Grow Black Bear mix. Um, this one, like we mentioned, would do great for uh, herbs, flowers, um, pretty much everything that we're doing here. And I'll get our seeds out and ready. So that particular one you're open right now, Carrie, about how long does it say it's going to take to come out and sprout? Um, this one, I mean, you should have sprouts of lettuce. Lettuce is one that's really fast. So you should have some sprouts in a few days. Okay. Um, and it says ready to harvest in 30 days too. 30 days? Yes. Wow. So really quick for these. I mean, 30 days, you I mean, you could almost plan out, you know, what you're going to be eating for dinner in 30 <laughs> I know, days. right? It'll be great. And these come with two right here. And again, they're perfectly all spaced out and ready to go. So I don't have to do anything. I don't have to thin down. I don't have to worry about accidentally dropping more in one area or the other. It's just perfect. Makes it so sim so simple. There you and go. it's the perfect size for the Smart Pot. Look at that. Wow. That's awesome. That literally just fits in there. It's perfect. Yeah, Check that'll that be out, the guys. best size. Yeah. And, and right then, there, five gallon smart pot. And we do make them with or without handles. So if you were somebody, you lived on a patio or you lived in an apartment um, where you have, you know, you know you're gonna have to bring it inside, um, grab one with handles, just makes it so much more easier to bring inside. Yeah, I think everything we have has handles. Yep. Just because we do, we move them inside, outside, we move them everywhere. And it's, even if they're out, outside like sometimes they get more sun than they need or we want them to be in a more sunny area so we kind of move them and space them around wow check that out perfect yeah that's absolutely perfect look at that and we'll just add a little bit of water on top and we'll be ready to go and then we'll plant out our flowers our set's gonna be looking really, really beautiful. Yes, it is. 
All right, there's our salad station. Okay, let's move to some of the flowers now. Cool. I like that we have different colors for different things here. Oh. I like all the, oh yeah, this one has handles, yep. nice. There's the handles we're talking about. So these cut handles, for those of you who aren't aware, are actually made to be picked up. So once we fill this up with soil, you know, seeds, plants, and water, don't worry about them falling apart. These are durable, made right here in Oklahoma City. All right, let's add in let's some get more. some soil under there. Mm -hmm. Okay, do zinnias or cosmos match better with blue? What do we think? Hmm, zinnias or cosmo? I don't know, something about cosmo makes me think about space, blue. I like it. I don't know. Okay, let's do the cosmos in there. I think that's good. I like to color coat things, makes it fun. <laughs> Here we go. Might need another bag. Yep. Shout out to our cameraman slash Woo! forklift, uh, Thank Dale. Thank you. <laughs> um, he's been running back and forth to our storage facility and picking up all these, you know, bags of soil. Couldn't do it without him. <laughs> what almost stabbed you with that? Uh, it would have added some meal to our <laughs> mixture. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I don't wanna actually stab you, my goodness. I have to turn this uh, video into a rated R it video. It really is a Halloween video today. <laughs> Getting in the spirit. <laughs> Great. That's probably good. And then we'll add one here on top of yep. the Cosmos. And we'll place it right there on top. Again, so perfect. Oh, this is amazing. Gosh, doesn't it just like satisfying? <laughs> yes, I love it. Check that out, guys. Awesome. So this is going to be, you know, and the fact that we're doing this um, in one smart pile that has handles, you know, if you, in the spring, whenever we have our vegetable garden, we're actually able to move this pollinator station over to the flower yeah. or over to the vegetables and kind of attract the, the pollinators, any area we want them to come. I love it. Okay. We want to sprinkle some on top. How's that? I think... I think that'll, that was perfect. Wow. Hey, you're getting, getting two ahead. handfuls. That'll do there it. There we go. Perfect. Wow. Check that out guys. Super, super easy. All right. I think next step is watering. Actually, okay. before you do that, let me take off the tag here and roll down our handles. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. And there we go. It's our future cosmos. Yep. <laughs> let's do zinnias now. Okay, so let's get that purple one ready. The purple's my favorite one. I was gonna say, I've watched some most of your live streams and I can <laughs> I already know that the purple is your favorite, huh? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, we have a lot of these purple smart pots all throughout our garden. We have like the big bag that well the the really big circular ones yep, yep. that we use oh, they're amazing i love them you know i have some of those too and i always think what do people think you know who are driving by who aren't gardeners at all and don't know what smart parts are and see these like bright orange purple blue circular <laughs> things sitting out what do you think they must think <laughs> these people are calling aliens or something <laughs> yeah i will say so we started using these in like 2016 or so around that time frame and we still have a lot of our original ones wow. like it's it's awesome <laughs> yeah we just have to give them a good washing when the season's done but we just take like a pressure washer and we just spray off the sides clean them out and we're yep. good yep and for those of you at home um just like carrier did you could pressure wash them some gardeners actually have like a specialized washing machine that they use just for those I've smart seen pods that. yeah if you're one of those that's really cool just be sure don't put them in your dryer um, because they're actually heat treated so they'll actually warp your pots so just air dry them the sun will actually kill most of all the germs that are on them anyways nice well yeah that's perfect let's keep some nice and fresh looking i like that because the wood just doesn't last as long and yeah. especially if i like paint them like i've gone through i feel like two or three sets of wooden raised beds the time that i've had the smart pots so and then plus you got to have they'll lug them around and build them for you huh yeah exactly <laughs> okay so zinnias zinnias are probably one of my favorites i love having zinnias again 
The butterflies just love these so much. And zinnias are so simple to grow and now super simple to plant as well. I mean, look at this. I mean, there you go. Perfect. She literally just planted a, a whole pot worth of zinnias. Yeah. And while you explained zinnias, <laughs> yeah. amazing. Yeah, and these are amazing as like cutting flowers and all that. And like, this is a dwarf variety too, but zinnias come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. And I feel like this dwarf variety will be perfect for this size of pot. There we go. That easy, huh? Yes. Check that out, guys. So effortless, right? Thank you all so much for joining us. This was super fun, and I'm really excited to have all sorts of blooms and food and all of that soon. And we are excited to be hosting a giveaway, too. Yes, we're announcing a fall garden giveaway partnership with Smart Pop, Park Seed, and our friends over at Farmer's Defense. So these sleeves I've been wearing all this episode. You're actually uh, going to be one of three lucky winners. Yes. Oh, that'll be great. So everything that we've planted out. So you'll get a Smart Pot, five-gallon Smart Pot with some Cosmos or another five-gallon Smart Pot with some of the Mescaline Salad Mix or another five gallon with the Xenia seeds from Park Seed with yep. those so effortless mats. They're great and it'll make it so much simple. Make sure you sign up. Information is down below. Happy gardening. <laughs> Thank you all for watching.